Good morning ladies, welcome back to Robin's Beauty Over 50. Today I'm going to be sharing you my, with you my skincare favorites for the last year, or pretty much for the last couple of years. So, stick around for that, we'll get into it right now. Okay, so we're going to start with morning skincare, and this is what I do every morning when I wake up. If I have flakes from the night before, I will take one of these simple wipes, it's got it's exfoliating, it's got an exfoliating side and a, um, a smooth side, I will take the exfoliating side and get all off all of those flakes before I do anything else. If I don't have flakes on my skin, I will go in with the micellar water and a cotton scrap, cotton round like these, and I will just wipe it over my face and get the... Um, get all the stuff that I put on the night before off my face. That is the first step that I do. The second step would be to put on my serums and my vitamin C. And I have been using this Lazuna vitamin C serum. I can't say that I'm real impressed with this, but I am just trying to use it up. Um, I love the Timeless. Um, so I, and I don't have a timeless, I have another one that I'm going to try in the between, but if I don't like the next one, I'm going to definitely go back, go back and buy um, the timeless vitamin C. So, but this is what I'm using right now. Vitamin C has made a huge difference in the brightening of my skin and helping with pigmentation. It's a, it's a wonderful little product. Then I put on my niacinamide from The Ordinary. And I use that right after the vitamin C, and I put it all over my face, and it helps with um, the pores and minimizing the pores, and I've seen a huge difference since I began using that. Um, those are the two serums that I use. The next thing that I will do is go in with my eye cream. And this eye cream I have talked about ad nauseum on my channel. It is the May Love the eye enhancer. I love this stuff. I'm almost done. I've got one in the wings waiting. It's like a gel. It goes on really nice and cool. So if you've got puffiness under there, it will take that puffiness down. Plus it gives you enough moisturization during the day um, so that whatever you put on, on over top of it lasts and makes everything look smoother, makes your under eye look really really nice the next thing I do is my moisturizer and I've been going back and forth between moisturizers um, I use Lancome products a lot but I ran out of my Lancome um, moisturizer and then I was using the snail cream um, that I showed you guys and that was not enough moisture I had been using this uh, about two years ago and I said I'm going to start using this again this is the CeraVe PM moisturizer and it is enough it's ultra lightweight it's enough to moisturize my face for morning and night so I've been using this and really loving it um, the last probably I don't know four or five months I really have been enjoying that all right so that is my morning skincare routine let's go into the evening skincare routine First thing I do when I come home is I take my makeup off. And the first thing that I use would be this Garnier um, Micellar Water, like I showed you for my morning. Take that off with a couple of cotton rounds, get all the first wash going. The second thing that I do is I go in with a cleansing balm. And I've been using this Pons cleansing balm. It's wonderful. I put it right up there with the Clinique, take the day off. Um, I really like it. The sun came out. That's why I'm bright. So, um, and I use this, put it all over my face, and I use it with my Clarisonic. I love this thing. This is the, one of the devices that I'm going to be talking about. So, I use it with that. Take all of my makeup off. That usually takes everything off um, for me. And then I usually take a bath right after I get home from work because I just want to get it out of the way. So depending on my bath, I will, um, I will go ahead and I will put on 
the AHA BHA and I use this twice a week it takes care of all the flakies off my face and um, it's just it's just a great little product I've used other exfoliators but this one seems to work really well um, okay before I go in with this product here the AHA BHA I usually put a toner on my skin and I just recently ran out of the Thayer's Witch Hazel. This stuff is amazing. It's cheap and it works. <laughs> so yeah, I've been using that and I just recently ran out of it. I had one of these in backup, the Roden and Fields Redefine Toner. Ladies, this stuff is absolutely amazing, but I can't afford it. So. I, um, this one does pretty much what this one does. When I use this right here, I notice my pores are smaller in the morning and I can use anything that makes my pores smaller. So those are pretty much primarily the two, um, the two toners that I've been using. And then I'll go in with this twice a week, this right here. And I'll put it on my face and I usually wait about 10 minutes before I take it off and when I take it off my face is so brightened and smooth it looks beautiful and then I put on my um, night creams so I go back and forth with um, night creams night eye creams I go back and forth with night eye creams I bought this little teeny tiny thing of La Mer it's the cutest thing ever and I bought it and I really enjoy it, but I'm not gonna pay two hundred and some dollars for an eye cream. I'm just not gonna do it. Um, I enjoy the Rodan and Fields eye cream. I enjoy May Love, but the May Love I find is not hydrating enough at night for my eyes. So um, I and I've used the Lancome eye cream and that's a really good one too. I am pretty I go back and forth with, with eye creams. This one is really good, but I, can, I can't say that this little La Mer cream is any better than any other cream that I've used that I enjoy that works. So this one is the one that I'm using right now. So, and then depending on whether I use the BHA AHA, um, if I didn't use it that night, I use it twice a week. Then I go in with my moisturizer. And if I did not use that product, I use a CeraVe and I use my Retin-A together. That keeps the, keeps the flakes from being so terribly bad. So I'll use these two together on one night. The next night, I will use the Paula's Choice Retinol. That's the next night. The third night is the night that I will go in with this ordinary, AHA, BHA. So, yeah, so I, like I said before, this is enough to moisturize um, my skin at night also. I really like it. Okay, is that all the products? Yeah. Now I want to go into um, devices, and I will go through what I use as far as devices. I use the Clarisonic Smart Profile. I've um, been using the Clarisonic, a type of Clarisonic for years, and this thing is amazing. It takes all of my makeup off. I use it at night. I don't use it in the morning, but it is a, a fantastic product. Now, I know there's probably other ones out there that are, are nice little, um, little products, little devices, but I always come back to this one because it just seems to get every single speck of my makeup off after I um, put this pause on. So I, I use that pretty much every night, and then on about every once a week, once a week I have to say, I've been using this um, Derma Roller 0.5 millimeter, and I will use this in conjunction with my Retin-A and the moisturizer, and I will roll it all over my face in the diagonal directions that it tells you to do and I'll use this first and then I'll put on my my moisturizer my retin-a um, or my HABHA whichever one I use that night but I use this about every once a week 
um, maybe once every week and a half. I've gotten to where I can use this and not have to use it every other night. This is an amazing little product. It gets your moisturizers and your serums into your skin deeper. And yes, I can see a difference since I've been using this. I've been using this for about, I'm gonna say a year and a half, and I love it. The last device that I am using right now is my Nuova Loose. And I've talked to you about this um, the last probably month and a half. And I love this. I have seen a huge difference in my face. <clears throat> Actually, my face shape has changed. It's just, just amazing to me. It pushes, I push it up and hold it, push it up and hold it. If you've been using this every single night, and I have noticed a difference with this product. Um, I am now on, you turn it on, you start out with the, the little blue light on the first one. I'm now on level four, and um, it puts electrodes into your skin so you can, you know, so it will work better. And I can feel it as it's working. I go around my chin and up on my face and my forehead. I love this thing. I've got a, um, I did a review on it. I think it was in my last video. I can't remember, but I did a review on it. It'll be listed in my description box. So yes, I love this thing. Um, and I will continue to use it because I do see a huge difference in my skin. It has this head on it and it has this little head that helps with pigmentation. And it's a uh, red light therapy. It helps with your pigmentation. And I use that in the same way that I use it, uh, use the microcurrent head. So yes, so I really enjoy that product. And I can definitely see that it has made a difference in my skin. So right now, those are the only pro those are the only devices that I've been using. And yes, those all of those are the products that I'm using, the skincare products that I'm using right now on my face. I do use a serum or yeah, a serum on my eyes, but I've gotten them to where my lashes are pretty well where I want them. So I use this about twice a week. This is the Rodin and Feels Lash Boost. This is great stuff. Um, I have seen my eye lashes grow longer with this than anything else, and it is expensive. I don't think I'm going to repurchase this. I've got another one that I'm going to try and use and see how I like it. But this works for the eyelashes. So I use this about once, maybe twice a week. All right. I think that is everything that I have. Thank you so much for sticking around with me today while I shared with you my skincare favorites. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. So click that little subscribe button down below. If you are, thank you so much for supporting me. And I will be back here on Thursday with my Throwback Palette Thursday. You guys have a wonderful week.